Uh, good morning and welcome to the University of California Botanical Garden at Berkeley. I'm Anthony Garza, Supervisor of Horticulture and Grounds. Today we're here to talk about this spectacular blooming Puya. This happens to be Puya alpestris subspecies Zolneri, formerly known as Puya berteroniana. Uh, you will see this in the nursery trade probably as Puya berteroniana, but there has been a name change to Puya alpestris variety Zol Zolneri. Puyas are pineapple relatives, so they are actually terrestrial bromeliads. I think a lot of uh, us are used to uh, epiphytic bromeliads, things that grow in trees, and uh, so on and so forth. So this is in that bromeliad group, but these puyas are terrestrial. Most of them are from South America. We have many species here in the uh, botanical garden. This is probably the most charismatic flowering one. This blue to teal color is unrivaled in the natural world. Very prominent orange stamens, full of nectar. And the purpose of these sterile floral parts is as bird perches. So this is all meant to attract pollinators and habitat, be it bees, hovering birds, or passerine birds, which are perchers. So that appendage there is for birds in particular. The foliage on these is beautiful but vicious. Uh, if you walk up to it and stick your hand in, you'll have a very difficult time getting it out. The spines on there are recurved. There's actually stories of in habitat, sheep and other livestock getting caught in these and not being able to extract themselves. So it's for the, uh, the brave home gardener but they are well adapted to our climate. These are one of the toughest terrestrial plants in the world. Uh, you can plant these in the winter, water them once and walk away. Very, very drought resistant, almost zero maintenance and, until you have to cut off that beautiful bloom, uh, but not for the faint of heart. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, the visit with this Puya among others please come and visit. We have several species in bloom in the South American collection and also in the New World Desert. Thank you again for joining us.